most of what I did yesterday was in the dark uh, putting out nukes and collecting the nukes from last week it's getting wet down here I'm camping in the back of the truck I've got a wet sleeping bag yeah there was an article in the bee journal this month about some Russian migratory beekeepers and the hives that they use bees for uh, also make a good bed so that's what the bee periodicals are for yeah so we can learn how to manage our bees better so I thought I'd try it so I've got the uh, nukes in the back of my truck they're contained they're bee tight so they don't leak out and I learned that bees snore the buzzing sound they make sounds similar to motorcycle races, jet airplanes, traffic, cows moving in the distance, and of course bees buzzing. I'm a little nervous about getting out now. This stuff gets slickered and snot when it's wet. I should have left earlier. This stuff is not fun when it's wet, especially if you don't have four-wheel drive. Uh, that's what I had to do to get out. It was a big mess. Couldn't get any pictures of the mess because I'd get my camera all muddy. As soon as you put the chains on, then it stops raining and clears up. That's the way it goes. In the dark last night, I put out couple of nukes here one there Too many bees in the bunkhouse. I had to kick some of them out of bed last night. We'll load them back up and head for home with them today. I'm anxious to see if the queens got made it this late in the season. It's mid-October. Oh, by the way, too, one more note on sleeping on top of beehives. They put out some heat. So if you're camping, you want to put your sleeping pad right on top of the bees, you'll stay nice and toasty warm.